Hey guys, it's Jay, aka Ferris Bueller from the RPF again. And uh, some people were asking me about uh, my 3D printer and what kind of rig I have. So I just thought I'd do a really short video and show you what it looks like. Uh, in my last video I mentioned that I ran out of filament while I was printing my uh, ear cups for my Iron Man helmet. So I don't have any filament loaded, but that's okay because it'll give me a chance to talk about something else. Anyway, so this is... Uh, the, the printer that I have now, it's called a T-Max 2.0. It's a derivative of the uh, Rep Wrap derivative, Mendel Max. So that's where the Max comes from in the name, Mendel Max. Uh, somebody changed the design a little bit to what they call the T-Max because if you look at it from the side, it looks like an inverted T. So the bottom of the printer is a very long base, and then up the center of the z-axis basically you've got this tall part here uh, at the top is a little frame for resting your roll of filament uh, on an axle and I'll cut to that in a second um, but basically this is it it's uh, not too difficult there's three stepper motors uh, X Y and Z axis and then a fourth stepper motor here in the extruder uh, very simple anybody who's who's put together a, a 3d printer knows exactly what I'm talking about so this is more for for those of you who, who are new to 3D printing. All the red parts you can see were printed on another 3D printer and they were printed out of ABS plastic which is the same kind of plastic that's used to create Lego bricks. It doesn't have exactly the same strength as a Lego brick because it's printed in layers. So let me go ahead and, uh, and lift this off of the tripod here and uh, get a little bit closer of a look and you'll see what I'm talking about. So you can see in here one of the one of the bracket pieces um, you've got these these layers that go this direction, so there is a chance that you know you have parts that can split um, split apart that way. But basically, all I've got here is some extruded aluminum frames, okay? Just standard metric uh, Allen head bolts. There's a smooth rod here that the the carriage rides up and down on through the z-axis. A threaded rod here that's turned by the stepper motor. And everything's controlled by the board here, which is a Ramps 1.4 board, which is basically a shield for an Arduino Mega uh, microprocessor development board. I've got a mount over here for my Raspberry Pi uh, B model that controls the printer. I've taken the Raspberry Pi out temporarily just to experiment with it on a couple other projects. But anyway, so that's the quick overview of the 3D printer. Um, go into a little bit more detail later on, maybe talk a little bit more about how it was put together, but I just wanted to throw this out there for you guys. Thanks!